We all know that idle hands are the devil's workshop. So busy hands must be better, right? What I didn't realize until very recently was how much better busy hands can be for cognition. Because doing certain things with your hands, and that includes knitting, gardening, or pottery, or music, can actually improve memory and reduce the risk of dementia in a way that other activities don't. Hi, I'm Tony Daring of GoCogno.com the website for people with mild cognitive impairment. Society seems preoccupied with the brain these days, and that's a good thing. But we don't carry our brain around in a glass jar. It's part of our body. And what's going on in other parts of our body can have an effect on our brain for better or for worse. You've probably heard of the gut biome and the gut-brain connection. You may have heard of the heart-brain connection. What's good for the heart is good for the brain. If I had a dollar for every time a neurologist has said that to me, I could retire. But what I want to talk to you about today is a concept that I am guessing you have never given the remotest thought to and that is the hand-brain connection. It's an actual thing. It has to do with cognitive stimulation. Use it or lose it. That's another thing neurologists love to say. In other words, find ways to keep your mind challenged. That's what creates new neural pathways in your brain, which help other parts of the brain better compensate for whatever cognitive problems you're having. Now you've probably heard that, but here's the message that you may not have gotten because the best activities like that are ones that cause you to use your hands to create some kind of product or end result. I was reminded of that just the other day when I saw this article about research just done at the University of Richmond. A neuroscientist, Dr. Kelly Lambert, led the study, which was done on lab rats. And she found that busy hands change brain chemistry in a way that leads to better brain function. That echoes a study from the Mayo Clinic last year that followed nearly 2,000 men and women with an average age of 77 for a period of four years. It found those who kept their brain busy with craft activities had a 28% lower risk of problems with memory or thinking skills. Almost any kind of cognitively stimulating activity is good but what the research showed was the best results were experienced when people did some activity that required their hands to carry it out. When that study came out, I remember this quote from neurologist Dr. Paul Wright. He said, this way we can actually tell our patients with mild cognitive impairment that there is evidence now that if you stay mentally active, you will actually do much better than if you don't. But, and this is an important but, he went on to say that if people with MCI want that benefit, they need to choose an activity that involves not just looking at something, but the interaction with your vision and your hands and movement. So that's the concept anyway and their science to support it. If you're looking to protect or improve cognition, give your brain a hand, literally. Look for ways to learn new things and then use your hands to make it happen. Some particularly good activities are gardening, knitting, or dancing, which involves your hands and your feet. Maybe you already have an activity like that. 
If so, leave a comment below. Tell me what you're doing to get hands-on with brain health. I'd love to hear from you, and I look forward to seeing you next week. Until then, as always, be kind to your mind.